Hello, I'm the Tattoo Robot, and today let's do another rose drawing tutorial. Today I'm working on the new school rose. So to start things off, I just drew a quick little cylinder or kind of a pill shape, and I gave it a slight bend to the front. Once I had that in there, then I started shaping my petals. I want to make it look as if the inner petals were hugging that cylinder, which I will then turn into the center of the rose, which if you join me for the last rose tutorial, you'll recall is called the stigma. Now with new school artwork, the big thing is just making things a little bit larger than life. Make them exaggerated and just stand out, grab the attention. Some might refer to it as being cartoony, which is completely accurate. It was actually derived from graffiti artwork. So, anyways, let's get back into this drawing. Now I'm drawing the petals coming off from it, and I'm making them very sharp and very angular. When you're attempting to do new school artwork, the biggest thing that I can suggest is make things as exaggerated as possible, but not so much that the subject matter becomes lost and isn't recognizable. If you're looking for something that is fun and dynamic, then new school is the, the way to go. And it can be a little bit weird to draw, so practice makes perfect and just keep at it. My line work for this one is pretty straightforward, but with new school, you can get away with doing a bit more. And back in the day, I used to bulk up my line work and just give really thick lines in the foreground and then as it went back I made them thinner but shaping lines like that isn't really all that popular anymore but I still tend to get out a thicker liner for the line work that goes around the outside of a tattoo and then for the stuff that goes inside of it I break out something a little bit thinner. Another fun thing to do inside of a specific subject within a tattoo is colored line work but I'm not here to talk about that but it is fun so yeah keep that in mind but anyways let's talk about the coloring for this project I decided to go with a nice bright purple it's almost fuchsia but anyways new school artwork really relies on bright contrasting colors so to do that, I'm doing my rose in purple, I'm going to do my leaves in green, and I will implement some orange into the next portion of the project, but for right now I'm just focusing on the rose, so I don't need all these secondary colors to pop off from each other. Also when I get to the leaves, I'm only going to draw one. And the reason for that is because I don't want to congest my artwork just yet because I do have that plan later on for other artwork. So don't want those leaves getting in the way. I'm not explaining the way that I draw or color because I'm assuming that you already watched my other two rose tutorials and those talk a little bit more about what exactly I'm doing in the program that I'm using. But this next part it's kind of a comparison you're gonna notice that I'm adding a lot more shape to these petals and that's because I don't want them to fall flat I want to give them as much attitude as possible and to do that I'm adding some folds in the petals but I'm not doing it as if they would be like out in nature I'm doing it as if it's kind of uh, a rough plastic rose so it's got a little thickness to the petals and it's really rigid looking now that's just the way that I prefer to to draw it doesn't mean that that's how you have to do it but also this is just kind of a guide to get you started some highlights and for this I made sure that I 
add another layer so I could get real sloppy with my white, not interfere with the other colors when I go in to erase that down. Now, the way that I'm using my highlights, it's to show that there's a high point compared to the rest of the petal. It's, it's not a flat petal, it's not smooth along one edge, it is imperfect. It's got some crumply petals and ridges. And I want to accentuate those to make the drawing that much more interesting. Now the rest of the petals are pretty much the same concept as these initial ones. So I'm going to speed things up a little bit and I'll slow it down again once we get to the end and I can explain a couple of the finer details to you. slow it down for a moment. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just erasing this thin little bit next to the edge and it's just to make sure that if I have something that's real dark that bumps up to the bottom side of this they don't blur together and things don't get lost and it looks super cool so yeah that's why I did that. I'm adding some shadows with a medium hard airbrush and that just kind of keeps the edges a little bit soft so that it's not too harsh. So I'm just kind of adding those underneath where I think that they would be based on not only the distance from the pedal above but also the curvature of the pedal that I'm working on. Once I've got those in there and I'm happy with where they're at then I go to my opacity and just bump that down a little bit so it's not super dark and overpowering. Alright, now to add some leaves. The final product will not have leaves on it because this is only the first step for a larger project. So I don't want to put leaves on here and then have to go in and take them out later on. So I'm just going to draw a quick example of what I'm thinking the leaves should look like for this particular project. And following the theme of the petals, I've exaggerated them a little bit and twisted them ever so slightly to make it look like they are kind of lifting off the paper and they're not just flat against it. And here's the final product, a big ass purple new school rose. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below and I would be more than happy to reply to them. If you happen to use this tutorial to draw your own, please share a link to that picture. I would love to see it. And here it is again with its predecessors. I hope that you learned something from these tutorials. 
I know that I had a great time drawing them for you. Thank you for watching. My name is Matt, the Tattoo Robot. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thank you.